oh, this is a good one. Um, my favorite Wheelock memory. This was during my first year on Wheelocks, and and during my first year at BU and BU of Wheelock, we took a course called ED One Twenty One Exploring Professions that change lives, that impacts lives, and during that course, we every every pathway within the major would have a little module within the semester, and. On the fourth module during that semester, it was Broadway Ed Design Pathway, which is also the one I declared. And we took a trip to a playground, which had a huge, like, little map trail set that was designed by one of our professors. And I thought it was a really cute experience. And even though it was a little bit cold during the time we went out there, that just, like, being out there and just exploring and interacting with the different, like, design installations and pieces and just seeing a couple children in the neighborhood also play it with it in real time was really adorable. So I think that's one of my favorite We Love Memories. And I wouldn't say, like, being on a swing set in the middle of class would be something I wouldn't be expecting to do. This one as well. So what do I hope to do post grad? It changes every semester. So every semester, if someone asks me this question, I can give you a different answer. However, right now I'm really leaning towards working in a youth certain setting. I'm not exactly sure what kind of youth program I may be into, or maybe if I want to stay within the city or go outside the state a little bit. But I definitely want to be able to work with children in some type of youth serving and after school enrichment program. So specifically within my youth development and justice pathway, I'm exploring a little bit more about what it means to be working with children in different areas. So this is just something that I hope to do after I graduate as well. So some of my favorite courses I've had at Wheelock so far, one was the Exploring Professions course. This was a year-long course where we did a module or a short module throughout the year and on different pathways within the major and it was a great way to explore and learn more about like what kind of things that people will be pursuing after once they declare their pathway or specialization come their sophomore year and their sophomore year. So it was just a fun way to see what else was available within the major. And another course I really enjoyed was Positive Youth Development or YJ360 and that's like a gateway course as well as a core course every we left student has to take. So through those courses it was a, just a fun way to learn more about how to reframe your thinking and also how to structure your mindset in a way that helps support children and putting them into the center of the conversation or to the program you're trying to create or work in rather than just the issues that they may be facing or the situations that they may, may find themselves in. Yeah, so I mentioned earlier that I'm in my practicum three semester. This past academic year, I was working with an organization known as Educators Rising. What they do is they support and supplement different educators-based curriculums in, in, high, in different high schools, and they also support different clubs clubs all throughout the state of Massachusetts and also other states in the U.S. for those who are interested in becoming a future educator. And with my particular role, particularly when it comes to the element of design, is I'm helping design a workshop that's going to be used at the first ever state conference next week. And beyond the workshop, I'll also be working with some of their outreach and outreach initiatives happening for the incoming years. So that's just a little bit about my practicum and definitely check out Educator Advising if you want to learn more about how to get involved. And they do have different opportunities even at the collegiate level. So if you're a high school student, you can definitely get involved sooner. But then if you are in college, you can also check out what kind of opportunities await you over there. Hi, my name is Issa, and I'm a program manager for the Days of Service program at the Community Service Center around the fourth floor of the GSU. And our weekend of service will be April 15th and 16th. So if you look out for that, our registration will be open very soon. Every first year as a practicum, more formally, it's known as the field experience. And within 
every particular specialization and in a major, every student would have to participate in some type of field experience. You typically their final year or maybe their junior year, depending on how the schedule lays out. In addition to a caps on that often happens your final year. And with both experiences, they often happen concurrently since you're going to be working with your particular pathway or specialization advisor. And then you'll be doing a project or working at a site or at a field that's related to the specific specialization you're focusing in. So when I say practicum capstone, it's more along the lines of I'm doing my practicum with Ed Rising, as I mentioned earlier, but I'm also doing a personal capstone project for an event that will be shown later in April. So I chose Wheelog mainly because I like the aspect of having a smaller college within a bigger like context or a big BU as we call it, and mainly because it's good to be in an environment and by environment like being you as a BU as a whole, where there's just so many different like interesting perspectives, opinions, and experiences while still being in a smaller community where I can really get into the kind of things that I'm interested in and things that I want to be able to focus on. So I chose BU as a whole because of that diversity of experience, but Wheelock in particular because they kind of center the things that I'm interested in when it comes to studying education and human development a little bit more holistically and seeing how it could be applied to things that beyond the classroom, but also in different youth serving settings that may be applicable in places like a hospital or a clinic or other youth programs that are happening, and whether it's in a local community or nation nationally. Alright, one more question for today. So advice that I would give to new Wheelock students, one of them is definitely to keep an open mind. I even though, so fun fact, I'm, I'm a transfer student. So my first year of college wasn't at BU, but as a, well, it was at a different institution. So when I came into Wheelock, I felt like I knew already what I wanted to do. But then, surprise, surprise, I took a lot of the courses that we are required to take, a lot of the intro courses, went into different field placements and experiences, heard from a lot of different people in their respective professions. and. I ended up declaring a second pathway. So even as me who really thought I knew what I wanted to do, like I still, there was just still more to explore and to get into. So definitely lead with an open mind. One cool thing about the major is it's very exploratory. So you see how everything is really intertwined and interconnected and you really get more value from just studying education or studying human development, combining the two fields and also seeing what you can do as you apply it to different contexts. I know I said one more question, but I also like this one as well. My favorite part about Wheelock is just calling everyone wheelies. Wheelies was actually from historic Wheelock College, and it was a phrase that was used to refer to the students there. So I heard about it and came across it when I was just learning more about Wheelock College's history, and I thought it was a really cute tradition that we should be able to pass on. So I love using the word wheelies, and every time I see a fellow Wheelock student throughout campus, even if we're not in a Wheelock context, it's just a great and a little silly way to just like build community. And honestly, one of my favorite parts about BU Wheelock is that the community that we build, even though BU is a really large institution and it can feel easy to get lost in the sauce, I think just being a part of a smaller college and having a small community, even if we're not doing the same particular major or focus, is really helpful and goes into the long run. Goes well into the long run. All right, so I am officially signing off for the day. I just left, what's left in a day is just a bunch of homework, so I gotta get started on and continue depending on what assignment we're taking off. So. But I want to thank all of y'all for joining me throughout my day here to see what it's like to be a BU Wheelock student. If you have any other questions, feel free to follow me on my personal Instagram account, which I will have on the screen, as well as my email if you have any more formal questions that I would prefer that you reach out to me. But I'm also open and receptive to direct messages as well. If there's any questions on anything, I may have said that you want to learn more about. So whether you're an alumni student or you're a prospective student or even an admitted student, I hope to see you around BU Wheelock. And yeah, enjoy your day and have a nice time.